In this video, I'm going to talk about how to nicely structure a SLIM2 application. Uh, when you're learning SLIM and you're looking at how SLIM works, it's often uh, really tempting to just put everything in one file, put all of your roots in one file and not really give your application uh, a, a nice structure, something that you can easily maintain as it grows. So we're going to be starting at the very base where we've just required in uh, everything we need to get going. And by this, I mean Slim itself, obviously. Uh, I'm including Slim Views. If you've not used Slim Views, I'd highly recommend it. And I'm going to be using Twig with this. So that's just my templating. So we haven't got much in here, uh, but we're going to go through the very basic structure and, and see how we can keep everything uh, really nice and tidy. So the first thing that I do uh, when I uh, start a project is inside of the root directory. In this case, the root directory for me is just called structure. That's just the name of the folder I'm keeping my project in. I'll go ahead and I'll create an app directory. So this is where all of my application files will live. And you can see I've got this open in my browser just here. The next thing I'll do is I'll create a public folder. This is where the user will land within the application. So let's just refresh the page and we'll click into public. This is where your user's root will be. So this is where they'll hit on your domain uh, when they, uh, you know, accessing your server. So inside of public, then we're going to have an index file. So this is going to be index.php. And this is where the application is going to start. We're not going to include everything in here, so we're not going to create a new instance of Slim in here and all that stuff. We're going to leave that up to the start file. In here, all we're going to do is require in that start file and then run the application. And that just keeps everything, again, nice and tidy. So let's create this start file then where we're going to actually start our application up. That's done within the app directory. So I'm just going to call that start.php. And in here then we are going to do things like start sessions. We're going to go ahead and require in vendor autoload, so our composer autoloader. And we're going to create a new slim application. Pretty straightforward. So inside of uh, the index file then, we want to require this file in. So we want to require app start.php and then we want to say app run. Simple as that. So now we have our app up and running. Obviously we get a 404 not found because we don't have a root just in place yet. But over in start then we're going to start introducing our twig templating and then obviously throughout this we'll start looking at uh, where we place our views, where we place our roots and things like that. So inside of here, then we're going to pass to view or assign to view a new slim views twig object. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say view equals app view. So we can go ahead and do whatever we need to our views. And for this, I'm going to set the template directory and that's going to be app views so you've probably already guessed inside of the app folder we're going to have a folder called views where we're going to keep all of our views and just finally because i'm using slim views i want to set my parser extensions and this is just slim views and my twig extension. Obviously, if you're using Smarty, that's a little bit different. So we haven't got any roots yet. Ordinarily, we would just go ahead and say something like app get and just echo something out. And that would usually just live in one file somewhere. But this is a little bit inefficient. We want to break this up. So alongside views inside of our app folder, we're going to have a roots directory. 
So let's say we have a route that deals with just our home page. Let's call this home.php. And let's say we had something else. So a new folder will create something called posts. And in there, let's say, create a file called new.php. So this is like a new post or something like that. So the reason I have this public directory is just so we can separate everything within the public directory from our application. That's really important. Inside of the public directory, you'll have things like your CSS folder, your JavaScript folder, fonts, files, and things like that. Everything, everything will go in here. And obviously what we also want to do is deal with our HT access file, which is going to allow us to uh, include uh, roots other than just forward slash here. So let's just create our HT access file in here. And we'll go ahead and populate that with the standard HT access, which you can find on the slim documentation. So now this has allowed us to include lots of other routes. Let's just go ahead and tidy ourselves up here. And we'll start creating our first routes here. So because you're going to have a lot of different routes, you're going to want to have one root file, which includes all of your routes. So what I tend to do is with, within the app directory, I create a new file called roots.php. And this allows me to just require in all of the routes I need. So in this case, I'm going to require in roots. And remember we have home.php. And I'm going to also include in roots posts new.php. So that's my two roots I currently have. And then inside of start, what we can do is require in that roots file we just created. So let's create a home root then. So we're going to say app get. And we're going to say welcome to the home page. And we'll see, as we expect, this home page here. And then obviously inside of post new, what I tend to do is define both the get and the post or put or delete, whatever uh, kind of uh, methods you're including inside of this one file, just so they're all in one file. You can separate them if you like, that will probably, in terms of your files, get a little bit too messy. So here I'm going to say post new. So render view. And then down here, when we post that data, we'll say something like data posted. So here then we can go to posts new and we see that render view text that we just saw. So we've now broken up our route into all of these different directories and files. So it keeps it nice and tidy. You can come straight over here into here and you're not going to be uh, cluttered in here with a lot of code. So for the views then I tend to mimic the same structure as my roots. So I'll have home.php directly within here. That needs to be a file. So I have home.php in there, like so. And then I'll have posts. And I'll have a new file in here called new. And let's just update this to home template. So what we can do now then is app render remember we already set inside of start our template directory which is app views so for the home route all we need to do is say home.php then when we go back to this we see an error because what we haven't done is used our app within there and we can do that in here too so we see our home template and then obviously in here what we can do then is say posts new.php because remember we have defined our template directory. So if we say post new, we see that. So that's all pretty much it. 
just to recap over this, the user hits the public directory. They uh, have this file required in, so we have start required in, and then we run the app. And then we have our start file within our app directory, which then goes ahead and do, does everything you need to do here. So we've obviously pulled in Composer's autoloader. We've created a new Slim app with Twig. We've gone ahead and set some view settings like our templates directory and our parser extensions, which allows us to use functions like URL4. Then we've required in our actual root file. So just one file in here, save having lots of different files in here. And that file uh, requires in all of our different roots, which are then separated into nice directories depending on what we're doing. So home, posts, new, you could have a show file in here or whatever. And then under our views directory, we pretty much mimic this same structure just to keep things nice and uh, symmetrical and tidy. So we have home template and we have our new template. So finally, what about any other files that we create in our application? So maybe middleware, any models that we might be using in our application. Well, what I do is I under app create a new folder uh, with my sort of vendor name. So for example, code course. And then inside of here, what I can do is I can create all the directories I need uh, as per my application structure. So if I have models or middleware, I can go ahead and include these. So for example, let's create a user model. Uh, let's call this user.php. I'm going to namespace this under code course models. And the class is called user. You could perhaps use eloquent with uh, slim works really nicely. And once we've created that, we are going to have trouble loading this in unless we use something like PSR4 auto loading. So what I'm going to do is inside of composer.json, I'm going to go ahead and choose how I want to auto load, or choose what I want to auto load. And that's going to be PSR4 auto loading under the code course namespace. And we're auto loading from app code course. So if we now just pull up a terminal window, uh, I'm just within the root directory here where my composer file is. I'm going to dump the auto loader, passing in the optimize flag. That's going to generate the uh, auto load files. So we're now uh, working with PSR4 within here. So for example, on my home page here, my home route, if I wanted to say user equals new user, I could go ahead and use code course models user up here. So it's nice and tidy and we shouldn't see an error there. So we could even just test this out by maybe adding a property on here. And then over to here, we could say like that. And there we go. So that is a brief overview of how I tend to lay out my Slim 2 application just to keep things nice and tidy. We're separating the public directory from our app directory entirely. And then within our app directory, we're separating out, separating out our roots and matching them with views just to keep them in sync. We have our start file, which we can include, any, include anything really that just basically bootstraps our application. And then finally, we have a PSR4 auto loaded uh, directory, basically containing any of the other files that we need as part of our application. So that is it, a quick look at a nice project structure with Slim 2.